Hello, my lovely Pisces. What is popping with you today? Yes, what's going down? Well, Pisces, thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here. Thank you, God, for this blessing. Lovely Friday, October the 13th, Jay Sean's birthday. Tomorrow is the 14th. It's the new moon. Pisces, you know what time it is. You better act like you know. You know, it's that time where... Everything is starting to move fast. I mean, computer, everything is just moving fast in your life. Technology is going to be moving fast. Um, your life, your, your, you know, hopefully you don't stay stuck in, in, in what it is and, and you can move on, right? Hopefully you can move on and you don't stay stuck on whatever you, you think it is. So, um, it's up to you to make this change, Pisces, in your life. It's really up to you. And it's up to you to want it. If, if you want to stay stuck and you don't plan on moving and you want to keep saying, oh, I'm going to wait for this to change and this to be the way I want it to be and wait for other people to make decisions in your life for you. And you want to wait for other people to just sit down and, and um, say to you when it's going to be the right time. I don't know what you're waiting on, but I know one thing. I'm not waiting on anything. And Pisces... I know one thing for sure, right? You need to keep, and I and I'm I, I have to tell myself this. I have to keep my business to myself because everybody don't want the best for you. And I'm talking about anybody and everybody. I don't care if it's a best friend, it's somebody you talk to, it might be your man, whoever. Everybody ain't gonna want everything good that's going on for you in your life. So you gotta watch who you who you tell your good news to. Because everybody don't want your good news, for you to have good news. Especially if they are in, in a place in their life where they don't feel like they're moving. Because we all feel like we're not moving. But sometimes people, you got people in their life that don't want to do anything. That's not even ambitious. That just live off of other people. And, and wait for other people to make their, their life more easier. But if you one of those people... That got a lot of things going on and God is opening doors for you to walk through. Let me tell you, Pisces, you need to keep your mouth shut. Because do you know, this is crazy. But now I'm telling y'all about everything that's going on in my life. And I, honey, everybody ain't happy for me. So I have to be like, whoa, I have to start saging and shit like that. But anyway, you know, it is what it is. You know, doors are open up and I'm ready to go through the fucking doors. I don't give a damn if they this small or that big. They, they better than where I've been, I'll tell you that. It's better than where I've been all these years that I've been struggling and sacrificing for what I've done to myself. Because nobody did this but me. I fucked up my everything that I had going on. Nobody told me to go out there and sell drugs and get locked up and have a fucked up ass record. Nobody told me that I had to sit there and then pay for the karma came back and made me pay for 20 some years sitting there struggling some people don't have no records like me and, and can get a job and, but just don't want to or can be doing better for themselves but making all excuses of something is aching something is hurt something is broke something's not right i can't i can't but if you think about it everybody that says that they cannot move on their life and for physical or whatever whatever you got going on it is not Bother you, but if you can make it from A to B and do A to B every day, you can go and do what you need to do for yourself. Somebody, somebody, oh, I ain't even mean to say that, but somebody here is um put limitation on their life and saying, I'm not can't do this and I can't do that. Do you fucking know how serious this is? Some people go to the doctors and get say. You only got six months to live, or you got cancer, you got this, or you got that. And they still go to work like that. But you want to make excuses of why you can't do, or oh, my physical, or I, mean, I can't move, and this, and that. You need to get your ass out of your predicament and get moving. Because when you're dealing with people like that, they don't want the best for you. They feel bad for themselves, but they should feel bad for themselves. Because they got to move just like you can. All right? Some people just let themselves go. I mean, literally let themselves go. Like, just, oh, I'm going to eat, eat till I drown myself. Right? I can't work because my toe is fucked up. Right? I can't work because I can't get up from the bed, but you can make it everywhere else. Right? So, I don't want to be the part of 
of these people that I'm sitting here telling them all my good news and they saying, oh, they not wishing me well, but oh, I'm glad, I'm good, glad for you, but but it's not working for me. I don't want to hear that shit, because um, honey, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, okay? I'm, I'm politely putting the, the, the evil eye on your face, get away from me. I mean, I'm like, what? Like you share good news with people that you think they get, want the best for you, and they really don't. They mad at because they not making no moves. Or because they wait for Jesus to come down and throw thousands and billions and five and tens and one dollar bills down to their lap and sit there and collect. Because they got nothing else going on. Well, I got to take all my shit back and I'm going to just say, you know what? I ain't messing around with nobody. All right? I'm going to take my business and when I get there, I get there. And just like I got on that boat you didn't know... That's exactly what I'm about to do. Keep my mouth shut. And even when I get there and get this shit right, you ain't going to know about it. Because you know what? I do what I do when I do what I do. And that's how it's going to be. It's a damn shame that you can't tell people the joy that you got. Because they don't want the best for you. And it's a damn shame. And these can be people that you really think they love you and care for you. And want the best for you. And they really don't. I am so tired of meeting people like that in my life. I'm fucking sick and tired of it. And I'm going to say it again. A bitch like me came with a record. These people that act like that with me, they, they got everything going on. Everything going on. And they, and they throwing some shade. Baby, let me tell you something. You can't hide the shade because... I see through you in your mask. So I'm just going to throw your, you know, I got to throw that evil eye on your ass. Okay? And I got to um, uh, throw that uh, <laughs> black spell, make a candle to bust your ass right on your head. Crack, crack, crack. Damn. It's, it's sad. It really is sad. I mean, it's so sad that you can't share your good news. It's really sad, but I'm going to tell you what. I'll be focused in the name of Jesus. I did not ask for anything. I go way and beyond my way. Nothing ever came free for me. Not a fucking thing. And I'll be damned if I got somebody throwing voodoo, hoodoo shit at my ass. Baby, don't you know I am the one? I'm the one that poof, poof back on your ass. And I don't never send reverse shit to people. Because I know karma has a way of coming back. Okay? So all I say, I give it to God. I send it to God and let God handle it. And let the justice be there to witness it. Because karma's going to come. All right? And I'm going to say it again. I don't give a fuck if you cripple. I don't give a fuck if you got one eye. All right? I don't care if you're in a wheelchair. You could have done way better than me. And that's some real shit. Do you understand? There's no reason for no one that can do for themselves not be happy for others. All right? When we hit rock bottom, we hit rock bottom. And that means when you hit rock bottom, you are in desperate need and you'll take anything to make sure that you got money coming in. And that's exactly what I did. And I've been doing that since the 90s. It's the 2023. And for every blessing that's coming my way, I thank God for it. And it's a damn shame you can't share good news. And it's the people that's closest to you that don't want the best for you. So Pisces, today is Jay Sean's birthday. It's my grandson's birthday. And I'm doing this reading because I was cooking for his birthday. Okay? But I still make time to do what I do. 
And I'm going to always continue to do what I do. And I may not do readings twice a day and all of that because I'm not going to tell nobody nothing else. All right. I, I don't like this. I really don't. And let me tell you something, honey. In the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Shield me and protect me. All right, here we go. Here we go. And for all those who wish my grandson a happy birthday, thank you. Thank you a million. Okay. Again, you got that card that people are acknowledging you and they are happy for you. And maybe you have a YouTube, maybe you have a platform, maybe you are a leader at work, maybe you 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 teach people, maybe you are a speaker, maybe you um do a lot, but a performer, someone that has made it to where they need to be, that people acknowledge them. Do you know it's a lot of people that read tarots that are not, that are leaving tarots and leaving um this business to attend to other and they leave and, and it, everybody think that this is the easiest job to do but when you got you two on your ass and then you got people that are following you acting crazy and shasty and shasty and then you got people that you can't even see it vicious towards you and when doors open up for us I tell you, I applaud everybody and anybody that has open doors and are going through that door. Because everybody, every one of us have it. All right? You just need to go through it. And focus on yourself. And no one else. With this Six of Pentacles, all right? You have the spotlight, and I don't need no spotlight, right? You got fame. I don't need no fame and good support. That's what I need, right? You are the winner. You had the courage to take a risk, work hard, and, and want for what you want. Go after for what you want. After a hard battle, you won. Thank you, Jesus. Many people will be celebrating your spotlight with you. You are now ready. For the new position in life. And I said to Pisces. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Ace of Pentacles. Nothing came easy to you. You worked hard for this. And this is God, the universe, giving you this. Because you deserve it. And because you worked for it. You wasn't, you wasn't a person just sat there and said, it's going to fall from heaven in my hands. You work for it, and God knows you did. This is a time in our life that we are very spiritual beings. And that's the biggest celebration that you can give. Is to be in touch with your spirituality. And you've been through the battle. Of feeling like, am I good enough to fit here? Why must I work so hard? And sometimes we just don't fit in just anything. And we people just don't even understand us. And that's hard enough. But you're coming out on top, Pisces. And it wasn't easy getting to where you are at. We battled our own family, our own kids, our loved ones, people that we thought they wanted the best for us. 
We battled them to the end and we won. And it's so much, so much here. I don't know what it is. It's like a Victorian moment in your life. Like you feel like you are victorious, right? And, and you may be feeling like you you get you need to sleep a lot because it's it's that that new moon is coming in where you you feel like tired, like you drained. It's funny how sometimes we feel like we're drowning. But even, it, it's a lot of dreams that you have in, and it's challenging you. Even in your dreams, you're being challenged. But, but the universe is telling you that even in your dreams that you're being challenged, you still being able to walk. Let me tell you, honey, you don't understand, honey. You don't understand. And you would never understand. You know? It's like, I've been dreaming like I've been drowning. And I tell you, last night I dreamt that I was walking on water. Just when I thought the water was deep, I was walking on it. And I kept looking for the surfboard. And none of the surfboard that I was looking at belonged to me. And I'm still looking for that surfboard. And it was all sides. I would never stop chasing my dreams. And neither could you. You have come right there. You at the ace. You got a lot of aces. A lot of new beginnings. Putting things together. Things are making sense. You on the top of your game. You on the top of your... your it's like... A light bulb that's coming on and it's something that you are about to do. Maybe it's a new project. Maybe it's a new business. Maybe it's a new something that you're opening up that's going to make you business. Maybe you opening something for yourself. Maybe it's a new, whatever it is, it's, it's a door that's opening up for you. And, and I say thank you, Jesus. And I want to just say thank you. I just want to thank God for all the things that... Actually, that is, is in my presence. And I, you got to understand, Pisces, that things are coming to you. And you may not understand everything, but it's, it's right there at your presence, right at your fingertips. It's like you can't give up on yourself now because you're there. Right? You you already been through the war zone. You already been through, you know, people knocking you down, kicking you in your back. Telling, telling you that you can't achieve anything. And, it, and if you are in a relationship that you thought wasn't going to take off, it's going to take off. Maybe you meet someone that's coming back to you or somebody that you have in your life and you thought, oh, this ain't going away and it's going somewhere. Right? I don't know. But it's whatever it is, it's a lot. Look at this. The Six of Pentacles balancing. All right? Right? Equal give and take. All right? Somebody here is helping you. You may be helping somebody younger than you. Or somebody's come, going to come and help you. But it seems like you, you. I don't know who this is, but it seems like somebody is, is surprised that either you're going to be surprised or they're going to be surprised. Because, yes, this is for you. It's like, what? For me? For me. That means I got picked over somebody else. It's never been like that before, but it's like they picking you. It's like me? Yes, you. Right? It's like you can be on a stage and you saying, I want bring that person right there in the blue. Bring them up to me. It's like you you making something here happen. People acknowledging you for how much you give to them. How much you do. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Pisces, I, I feel like you're really, really, really getting yourself together. The Six of Swords moving from to a calmer place. It's like you're creating something, but you're moving towards that way. 
It's like the universe is giving you this and it's telling you go. Don't look back because wherever you're going, it's going to be better than where you are at. You no need to look back. No need to say, um, you know, because the universe said, here, yeah, I'm giving you this. Come on, come with me because I'm going to make it so smooth for you. This ride is going to be so smooth. So it ain't no need for you to look back. What are you looking back for? You already know where you was at. You got to take a chance on the new. Okay? You must take a chance on the new. And that's what it's telling you. Right? Right, here we go. Uh, here we go. Tell me more, spirits. The Queen of Swords. You are definitely have everything set up. And you're just sitting there patiently. It's like you're wearing your heart on your sleeve. You, you're waiting for this information. You're waiting on say, how somebody's coming at you, how they talking to you. You know, you, you, you're just sitting there calm because you know it's about to go down. You know that it's about to come down, baby. You know, you, you, you probably wasn't even expecting things to go the way it's going. But damn it, it's going. You know what I'm saying? When somebody say, how you doing? It's going. What's going on? It's going. You know, everything is moving. And that's what it is. It's like you 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 got a lot of things going on in your head, right? But you're waiting on this information. It's like you're waiting on something. Maybe an answer, maybe a job, maybe something here that you wait on an answer, some kind of information that you're waiting on. Making this move, making this next move, all right? And I, I, I love this, this reading for you because... It's something that you need it, all right? It's something that, that, that you've been waiting on, all right? It's moving you to a different direction. But you got to be ready to receive it and not fight it. Just go with it, all right? Tell me more about this Six of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Six of Pentacles. The Four of Wands, look at this. A wedding, a celebration, two people coming together, a reunion. And it keeps saying you you celebrating something and, and you getting something here, some type of help. But it's like a celebration. It's like you, it's like a reunion with family, friends, people that love you, a person that you have not seen in a while. Maybe it's coming to be marriage in this whole thing. All right, tell me more about the Six of Swords. Oh, my God. Taking a leap of faith. Look at that. 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 Just look at that. <laughs> Take it. Take it. What's wrong with you? You better take that. You see nothing but green. You better take that leap of faith. What is wrong with you? You better take what people are giving you. It's your time to receive. Pisces, you better get the best of me while you can. You better get the best of me, my best advice, while you got it. Because you best to believe. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know. But you better get the best of my advice. And you will never meet no one like me ever again. And I want the best for you. And I told you I ride with you. You better jump on this. Tell me more. Oh my God. To Ten of Wands, you don't have to carry this weight on your back anymore. Let the weight go. Why can't you just let it go? Why can't you just live your life and let everybody else live theirs? You no longer have to take this weight on your back. You don't have to. You got to let that weight go. All right? It's time for you to breathe. All right? The three of pinnacles, a job offer, a new job, money, all right? Working with people, all right? 
But do not take all of this work on your back, right? Look at this earth giving birth to something new, exciting. Look at you, all right? Brand new, something is coming to you that's going to make you so happy. But do not do what I did. Put all the weight on my back. Don't do that. And I will never do that again. You know why? Because I don't have to. Guess why? Because I'm going to do what I want to do. And I will not put nothing that's going to strengthen my, my heart, my thought and everything. I, If I had to be in a situation where somebody wants me to carry all this weight on my back, I'd rather not even work for you. I'd rather not even be with you. Because it won't even be worth it. I, I, I don't go... I will not go backwards. I will go forward. I will not be the person I used to be. You can't get what you used to get from the old me. The new me is not playing. The new you is not playing. They can't get what you used to give. How can you go back and give people the same thing you gave them before? You'll be a damn fool. You got so much and you grew up so much, Pisces. And I'm proud of you. Now is your decision. Now is your time to enjoy every moment and every breath take that God has given you. It's time for you to enjoy life to the fullest. The new life that you got. This new you. This new way of being. Way of living. Do you understand? Life is too short to be caught up in not knowing what you want and live for someone else. Or living because this is how you used to live in you. Pisces, if you need a reading for me, get it from me or someone else, honey. I love you, and I wish you nothing but the best. Bye-bye.